we got something new here. I received a package and inside here is some cool open source technology that I want to share with you. So let's get started and right into it. As you can see, we do have something here in front of us from Keystone, the Keystone 3 Pro cryptocurrency hardware wallet. On this downside here, we do see there's a hardware wallet in, a user manual, some seat sheets, a USB-C cable, and some jelly tape. Uh, about this tape, I will tell you something later. On this side, just the product key. Uh, I opened it already. I have uh, not taken a look inside. I've never seen it before. I haven't watched any other reviews or anything like that. So <laughs> this right here will be the first time for me actually seeing this. I just opened this box here. Okay, a couple of cool information. So large screen, it's open source. Uh, by the way, all the links are in the video description down below. So check them out if you want to do so. There are secure element chips in there, multi-seat phrases, supports up to, uh, up to three sets of seat phrases for efficient asset management. Interesting. Fingerprint authentication, self-destruction mechanism, air gap mode, and advanced features. Interesting. On this side, again, a little bit more information. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's get this out of the box. Oh, this looks cool. Let me get this off here. So, step one, visit the quick start guide at Keyst dot one slash start. Step two, configure the Keystone hardware wallet using the tutorial. And step three, embark on your Web3 adventure with utmost safety and protection. Interesting. So full disclosure, I got this hardware wallet here from Keystone for free in order to review it and give my honest experience on it. And that's what I want to do. So here on this side, we see a logo. You sign what you see, a logo again, nothing here. And we do have a small latch. So let's get this out here. And there's some paperwork. Let's get rid of this. And let's see. So we get a quick impression of the device and how it looks. Just a thin piece of paper. And that's the wallet, the device. Interesting. So let's put this to the side and let's discover what else we do have in here. So if I do pull this up, probably underneath here, yeah, the USB-C cable. Let's get this out of here. Rup. Just a small USB-C cable. Beautiful. Let's get this to the side and let's take a look underneath it. Let's put this back in here. Nothing underneath there. And here we do have some Keystone 3, all right. Some paperwork, let me see. So this is probably just the user manual, yeah, quick start guide. Uh, scan install Unipass app. Okay, introducing Unipass, an account abstract wallet for global payments. Interesting, so this is labeled as add and uh, in gratitude for your ongoing support, we're offering you a discount code for your next purchase. Interesting. By the way, speaking about uh, offering any discount codes, the code in the video description down below will offer you a little bit of discount. So check it out if you are interested into this device after the review. All right, and then the last thing we do have in here is this. Okay, so we do have a couple of sheets here for uh, the seed phrases. Maybe we want to write it down multiple times and store it somewhere safe. Uh, yeah, recovery sheet. All right, lovely to see that in here. <laughs> and this, oh my goodness, that is lovely. Okay, so you can use this. This seems to be a double-sided ta double tape. And you just stick it on here, I believe. And then you can use it like a, so, some sort of as a drawer, you know, under your desk. Your, as you see here, you just tape it to your desk and then you can use this as a drawer. Lovely. <laughs> That's really lovely. All right, let's put everything to the side and let's peel off the screen protection. Nice. Okay, what do we have here? Interesting, a little bit of tape left. Um, so that's the device here. 
let's take a look on the on the website. Uh, so we get some information here. This seems to be a, f a fingerprint sensor and a small camera. This on the top side seems to be some sort of a yeah. That's a micro USB port. I bet you can see that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, USB-C port here on the side. On the other side is nothing. And here we do have the power button. Let's press this. I press and hold this. And there we go. Firmware version 1.2.2, 69. Nice. Percent battery. <laughs> Let's click on this. Language. Uh, yeah. Verify your device. This process ensures the integrity of your Keystone device and firmware. Visit our website and click Start Verification button. Okay, scan the QR code displayed on the website to get your device verification code. Enter the code on the website to scan. Okay, scan QR code. Interesting, so the camera, is it any good? I mean, oh, it's black and white. Interesting, it's monochrome. All right. Uh, let me visit this side one second. All right, we're back. Um, what I did is basically I opened the website the device told me to open. And then uh, on this website was a quick QR code. I just scanned it. It pr processed internally a code. I typed it in and then, yeah, the uh, web UI told me my device is secure. Uh, so I bet it is uh, secure. To unlock the new Features, please update your firmware to the latest version. Why micro SD, why USB? Now we're gonna skip this. And new wallet. Create a new wallet or import an existing wallet with the seed phrase. All right, I'm gonna click on create wallet. I set a pin. One second. All right, so then I'm gonna name this YouTube. <laughs> Let's go. Standard seed phrase. Shamir backup, an advanced procedure to securely storing your seed phrase. Let's take a look on this one. Ah, okay, I know what this is. So what this is doing is it is producing multiple shares of uh, the backup key. So you do get like three parts, not just one th seed phrase, like all these 24 words or one big password, you get multiple different ones. Uh, so smaller sections and then you can store them safely in like three remote or different areas just to increase the security. That's handy, that's lovely to see. Let's go back and let's click on standard seed phrase. Check your surroundings, never share your seed phrase with anyone else as it grants access to your assets. Ensure there are no onlookers on cameras when recording your seed phrase. Please complete the setup process in one go to avoid any security risk. Yeah. Uh, uh. So guys, um, that's one. Uh, okay, that's interesting. So you do get 24 words and I'm gonna take myself one of these cards and I'm gonna quickly regenerate a couple of times and write all those words down or whatever. Confirm your seed. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you need to confirm the seed. You know what? I'm gonna quickly do this and as soon as I'm done with that, I, I will be right back. I, I actually want to create myself a wallet. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay, here we are back with it. Uh, we're currently creating the wallet. Keep the device on, writing secure element. So I have no idea how long this will take. There we go. We are in it. I called my wallet one clue just for the sake of, uh, you know, being me. Uh, let's click on Bitcoin. Attention, this address is exclusively for BTC transactions only. Send other types of digital assets to this address will result in their loss. One second. So that's beautiful. Um, yeah, so if I do click on BTC, I can show my BTC address. Uh, same probably for Ethereum. I'm not sure if I will use this shit coin, but yeah, 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 dude, you'd get it. Let me click on, a, let me click a couple of things here. So the process was fairly simple. I just used like this piece of paper here, as you do see, and uh, I just wrote down all those words. And afterwards, you need to check it. So you need to press and select the order of uh, which one is at which position. And it checks if you did it correctly. And if you do so, then it creates this wallet. Let's click a little bit around here. Let's see what we do have. Um, so we do have plenty of shit coins in here. I'm only interested in Bitcoin. Uh, so let me deselect all the other shit here. Oh yeah. 
19. Um, I'm sorry that this is not a BTC only wallet, uh, but it is a lovely one and uh, probably some of you may have a little bit of use case for all these other tokens. I do know that I have reviewed a couple of other currencies before that. Um, I still hold a couple other ones, so it's not that I am a Bitcoin maxi. I am kinder and I do love what I do and uh, it's just lovely to have this here and I want to see what it's doing. Connect software wallet device settings. Let me click on this. And we have settings here on the firmware version. So right now, this is basically an air-gapped wallet. I could use this as my cold storage. Nobody knows the address. Uh, only me is capable of actually unlocking this device. It is super handy. It's super simple and it's freaking open source. The hard and software is open source. So if anything is wrong with it, at least you know, at least you can figure it out on your own. You can connect it via USB or with a micro SD card. So, man, this is OPSEC. This is pure OPSEC. So what you could do is just load the, the firmware update on the micro SD card, then plug it in here and never ever connect this device to Wi-Fi or with your PC. So it is completely air gapped. This is beautiful. I will keep this one and I will definitely use this one. I mean, you have to, right? It's so beautiful. It's, it's, it, it fits super in my hand. Um, and you need to unlock it using a pin. Interesting. You could change to a password. I never put in a password, so I couldn't, I believe. Uh, that's super interesting. What, what happens? Enter your password. I never put one in. So you could set up a password as well. Interesting. So I could be putting the pin code of mine and uh, system settings. So display and lock screen, brightness. Oh, let me increase that so that you can probably read this better. Auto lock, auto shut down. Interesting. It really looks nice. It kind of has this feel of a little bit Android. I'm not sure what kind of firmware runs on this. I need to check this. Um, but as I said, all the links are in the video description down below so that you can figure out on your own if you do would trust such a device. It's super handy, it's super small. Uh, what would you see? Five walls, manufactured, country, uh, yeah. It's from China, we know. Interesting, it is lovely. I need to say, I'm definitely gonna use this wallet. I will keep this beautiful thing here. And uh, yeah, wallet settings, some code there, interesting. Fingerprint and passcode. So I could put in my fingerprint, interesting. So I would need to put in, put in my passcode and then I can put in my fingerprint. Uh, let me quickly do that. Okay, so you need to lift your finger multiple times. Now we need your entity passport to encrypt and install the fingerprint. Interesting. I'm really, I'm really interested. Man, nice. Okay, let me try this. I just close it, open it. Uh, well, uh, yeah, nice. I mean, yeah, guys, it's an, it's a fingerprint, but it's air gapped. Uh, sign transactions. Interesting. So I can sign transactions with it to be, like, you know, like I do broadcast a transaction, or at least uh, try to, then use a micro SD card, put this micro SD card in here, sign this transaction, use it back on the PC and have an echo, my goodness, I'm just blown away. I need to tell you. This is lovely, I, I really love it. Uh, delete wallet, seed phrase check, passphrase. I don't need a passphrase, at least not right now. Lovely, lovely, and you can scan obviously. It's uh, black and white as you do see here, but it's lovely, it's, it's enough. You, QR codes are black and white, so it's beautiful. Yeah, that's it for, for this wallet, for the Keystone. Key Pro 3, Keystone 3 Pro, I'm sorry. I hope that you like this. I do like it. I think it's a beautiful small one. And if you do enjoy today's video, I highly suggest you to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any further videos and potential discount codes for cool products like this one. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.